Marshawn Lattimore is one of the best corners in the league right now and has been for the last couple of years. He has won multiple Pro Bowls and even won Defensive Rookie of the Year. But how did Marshawn get here and how did he become a lockdown cornerback that players fear? Marshawn DeMond Lattimore was born on May 20th, 1996 in Eastside, Cleveland, Ohio, one of the most dangerous cities in the U.S. Marshawn was raised mainly by his mother, Felicia Killebrew, while his father, Marlon Lattimore, would be in and out of prison for the first 10 years of his life. Marshawn's dad played football growing up and had potential to make a career out of it, but a knee injury ended his football dreams. Fortunately, he passed his dreams on to his son. Growing up, Marshawn loved football. When he was only 3 years old, he put on one of his uncle's helmets and declared he would be a football player. As a kid, Marshawn would play football in the Cleveland Muni League. A league dedicated to young children, where Marshawn played tailback and won multiple MVP trophies. In 2010, Marshawn Lattimore would begin attending Glenville High School, which had and still has one of the best high school football teams in Ohio. In high school, Lattimore would play both wide receiver and cornerback. During his freshman year, Lattimore was a great player with a lot of potential, but he hadn't yet fully committed to football. Some days, he would just flat out skip practice. In the summer after Marshawn's freshman year, his 17-year-old cousin who he idolized, Dayton Williams, was murdered and it took a massive toll on Lattimore, bringing him to the point of wanting to give up on football, but his family kept him on his feet. At only 14 years old, Marshawn Lattimore realized that he had to get him, his family, and his friends out of these conditions, and football would be his way out. It wouldn't take long for Lattimore to become one of the best on the football team. In his junior year, he would have a breakout game against Solon, where he had 100 plus rushing yards, 100 plus receiving yards, 3 rushing touchdowns, 1 receiving touchdown, and even threw a 2 point conversion pass, all while he was playing safety on defense as well. In 2014, Marshawn would finish his senior year in high school with 40 receptions for 911 yards and 16 touchdowns and was rated a 4-star, ranked 2nd best player in Ohio and 6th best cornerback in the nation. Marshawn had multiple offers from schools like Alabama, USC, Tennessee, Oregon, and Ohio State and many more. Ultimately, Marshawn chose a school he said he was going to commit to when he was 9 years old. Teammate, where are you going to go? Uh... First of all, I want to I thank God for putting me in this position I am right now. And I want to thank all of them for just supporting me and uh, sticking with me throughout the process. And um, the people back home and all that. Eric already gave me up, so I'm going to be going to Ohio <laughs> State. Marshawn would be very excited to start playing for Ohio State, but before the season even started, he would tear his left hamstring and would be forced to undergo surgery, ruling him out for the entire season. Fortunately, he would recover. In 2015, Marshawn's redshirt freshman season, he would finally get to play in games, but he wasn't yet a starter. He had four tackles and two pass breakups before a strain on his right hamstring would end the season short. After this injury, Marshawn was in a dark place mentally, even telling his mother that his career had ended before it started. But Marshawn persisted and he would finally get a breakout season where he would show the whole world how good he truly was. In the 2016 season, Marshawn would play the entire 13 games, and it wouldn't take long for him to get comfortable. In just week 2, Marshawn would have 2 interceptions and a pick 6 in a 48-3 victory against Tulsa. He would finish that season with 41 tackles, 4 interceptions, a pick 6, and 9 pass breakups. And when he played man coverage, he only allowed 7 catches. Marshawn this season was something of legend. In just one full year of playing, Marshawn had put his name on the map and declared himself ready. The New Orleans select... Marshawn Lattimore, defensive back, Ohio State. After being selected by the Saints with the 11th overall pick, Marshawn had a lot of hype to live up to, and he did not disappoint. In week 16 against the Falcons, Marshawn would get his iconic butt interception, where the Saints would go on and score a touchdown. The Saints won the game 23-13, and they secured their first playoff berth since 2013. There was no doubt that Marshawn was a game changer. In Marshawn's rookie season, he had 45 tackles, 1 forced fumble, 5 interceptions, 1 pick 6, defended 18 passes, and only allowed 1 touchdown. When targeted, he only allowed a 45.3 passer rating. Yeah, Marshawn was balling out. He was so good that he won Defensive Rookie of the Year and made the Pro Bowl. From the hometown, Marshawn Lattimore. Man, appreciate everybody. Uh, I'm just glad to be here with all the great people here. And uh, I just want to thank the man upstairs for making it all possible. And shout out to my parents, man. They, they've been through, their, through everything with me and uh, my teammates, man. I love y'all. And uh, man, that's all I got to say. Appreciate y'all.
In 2018, he had 49 tackles, 4 forced fumbles, 2 interceptions, and 12 passes defended. He was a huge reason for the Saints being so dominant that year, where they finished with a record of 13-3. You see, prior to Marshawn's arrival in New Orleans, the Saints defense had never been good at all but their offense would always be unstoppable a good example of this is the 2011 saints one of the most high scoring offenses of all time but they had a sorry defense and it came back to bite them in the end but ever since marshawn joined the saints he took the majority of the workload on defense every single week marshawn would be lined up against the opposing team's best receiver marshawn would almost single-handedly propel the saints defense to the next level in that 2018 season the saints faced off against the eagles in the divisional round and the defense limited them to only 14 points Marshawn and his game had two interceptions, with one of those calling game. After they beat the Eagles, they went on to face the Rams for the conference championship. And Marshawn was supposed to go to his first Super Bowl ever, but the Saints got absolutely robbed from their win in the worst no call in all of the NFL. In 2021, Marshawn had 55 tackles, 3 interceptions, and 19 passes defended, and would make the Pro Bowl again. Unfortunately, in the 2022 season, Marshawn would suffer an injury where he would fracture his ribs and have a lacerated kidney. This would keep him off the field for a good chunk of the season, but he would return in Week 16 versus the 13-2 Eagles where he had a pick 6 to seal an impossible victory. As of right now, Marshawn is off to a great start in the 2023 season. Marshawn Lattimore had a lot of hype his whole life, and he lived up to it, something not many people can do. He is one of the best cornerbacks in the league right now, and without a doubt, the Saints' best cornerback of all time. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And while you're here, why not check out this video too? Anyways, have a good day and peace.